clean vehicles are no longer a novelty. President Biden's goal to have 50% of all new vehicle sales be electric by 2030 has sparked public interest in electric vehicles, but many are still left with concerns that are keeping them from purchasing their first clean car. Uh, price. Price and availability. Because I'm not about to go broke getting an electric car. <laughs> They are not alone. AAA survey shows high prices is one of the leading concerns drivers have about electric vehicle purchases. However, prices for green cars are getting closer to gas-powered cars. With more competition, government incentives, and falling prices for battery materials, electric vehicles are becoming a lot more affordable more quickly than expected. According to Tripoli's Car Guide, EVs require less maintenance because they contain only a fraction of gasoline-powered vehicle parts. That means you do not need to worry about oil or filter changes, replacing parts such as engine belts, fuel injectors, or catalytic converters. But what about the battery? The cost of repair and replacement is also a leading concern consumers have. One thing really good about EVs is that they want you to have confidence that the battery is going to last. So in addition to the regular three-year warranty that you get on the entire car, they give you an eight-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Paul bought his first EV in 2016. This year, he noticed his battery started losing capacity, but he was able to qualify for a free new battery and is now on a waiting list. AAA's car guide indicates that most EV manufacturers guarantee their batteries for eight years or 100,000 miles, but reports of EV battery failures are very rare. Nonetheless, if you are considering buying a new or used EV, AAA recommends checking the terms of the warranty. Another viable option to create electric powertrains is fuel cells. Hydrogen is being released into the fuel cell. The way that the car is powered, it does have a small internal battery, but it also has a fuel cell on board that converts the hydrogen into energy. So instead of having to plug in essentially the car as I'm driving, is creating energy. Southern California resident Roberto Alvarez is a first-time clean vehicle owner. He decided it was time to go green by buying a fuel cell electric vehicle, not only because it made sense financially, he also wanted to do his part in reducing the impact on climate change. Most importantly for me, it was an opportunity to be a little bit more uh, sustainable, and they provided me uh, a fuel card so I could pay for fuel for about six years. According to AAA's Used EV Buyer's Guide, as of January 2023, people that purchased new EVs could get a maximum tax rebate of $7,500. Buyers of used EVs can receive up to $4,000 or 30% of the price of the vehicle when purchasing an EV that is minimum of two years old. This includes all electric, plug-in hybrid, and fuel cell electric vehicles but only vehicles assembled in the United States could get the full tax credit. Consumers like Paul and Roberto understood that not only were they reducing their carbon footprint, they were also saving money, and they are not the only ones going green. U.S. electric car sales climbed sharply over the last couple years, despite inventory shortages. Last year, EV sales increased by 65%, to 5.8% of all car sales, while traditional gas-powered vehicle sales edged down slightly. Reading a lot about it, and I thought it made sense to have one for the driving we were doing, good for the environment. Just like Paul, 74% that participated in a study by the Automobile of Southern California believe EVs are better for the environment. But as the demand for EVs grows, so does the need of enough charging infrastructure. I realized early on that it's difficult to find charging stations and even when you find them there's no guarantee they're going to be working and there's no guarantee that there's going to be a space, you know, that somebody's not already using all of them. So pretty quickly I just realized I'm going to be charging it at home. It is estimated that there are more than 3 million EVs on the road 
and over 135,000 public EV chargers nationwide. 90,000 of those chargers are in California, where Paul resides. That state needs at least 1.2 million new chargers by 2030 to meet the state's goal of ending gas-powered vehicle sales by 2035. I just felt from the beginning that the infrastructure was inadequate and that I was going to work around it. Paul believes that on this matter, one company is setting an example. Tesla is the model because everywhere you go, you see these Tesla stations, they got like 13 or 20 charging stations. But until the other EVs can work together to establish a network of reliable and available charging systems that it'll show one within 15 miles. While charging infrastructure has improved, more work will be needed to support greater consumer adoption in the coming years. In the meantime, education is key and the first step when deciding it's time to go green. AAA's Car Guide and Used EV Buyer's Guide were designed to help consumers navigate the automobile marketplace, especially clean vehicles, during a time considered to be a green car revolution.